Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tech Stack channel. So today we'll try to explore a topic on the Outlook. So basically I got one uh, comment on this. So make an video filtering specific date uh, from the Outlook. So basically we have this Outlook. Mm, let me show this Outlook. So this is the Outlook. So from this Outlook we need to pick the specific uh, filter. So and he mentioned that filter should be available from so and so date okay so he has some yesterday or today or might be there and he has just given some specific time so i have the multiple mails but i want to filter the specific 7 uh, pm to 8 30 pm it has a one hour one and a half hour time he's given that so we'll try to explore how we can do with this your path so the first step so what you want to know so we want to read that mail so for that uh, let me pick this outlook so let me take get outlook mail messages so just take, uh, take this activity drag and drop into the code window and go to these properties. So in these properties, we can see some set of uh, commands. Uh, once you go to the option, so you can update the filter here. For example, if you want some day so and so date, so you can update that filters. So before applying filters, uh, just I will update this output here. So just I will update this output. So whatever the data in the mail is just storing it as one variable. So just I will make it as uh, output mails. You can make it whatever the name uh, as you prefer. So I will make it as outlook mails. And you can see this outlook mail has uh, some variable type. So go to these variables and you can see this it's a list which having in the mail messages. So now this part is done. So if I want to look further, so I want to take this for each activity. So let me take for each activity. Mm, where is this for each activity? Just drag and drop this for each activity. And here you can update this mail. So my mail is output uh, mails. So you can just update here. So once you updated the variable here, still if you are getting this error, just go to these properties. Okay. Oh, just uh, check that. So what type of format you passed here? So if you put something, uh, might be when you are updating something, it might be get different. So that time you will got some error pop up here or it might be some issues. So make sure that uh, this should be the system dot mail dot sorry system dot net dot mail dot messages. So after this, I will just take message box. So just I will take this message box and I will update here current item dot to uh, I mean you want to subject or just I will take this subject current item dot subject. Okay, that's fine. So now what I'm doing, I'm not applying any filters, just I'm running this. So now we'll see whether we are able to fetch that mails or not. And one more the point, go to these properties and you can see top 10 you want, or top 20 or whatever it may be. And you can see this one more uh, mark as read or uh, only read and message. So you can just check uh, if it is checked, so you can read only those kind of messages. So now I enable, I mean, disable the both the things, let it be, that's fine. So now just I will run, uh, I will check whether I'm getting this mails or not i will just only check for this two days so in this today i have the two mails so just i will check this body of those mails so let me run this okay not the body so i'm just checking this subject so the first message is subject is test so you can see the subject is test and the second one subject is uh, uh, alert summary default in it so let me run this <clears throat> so i got the alert default summary so if I still run, I will get all the mails which I have in the till 30. So now I'm just stopping this part. So now we got to know how we can read that mails. So now the next step is how we can apply the filters. So just go to this uh, filtering here. So just open this and how we can identify the first. So we have the receive time. So just to take the receive time. So here we cannot see the receive time. Uh, basically, if you see here, uh, 17.36 that is nothing but as receive time so here we can not, not able to see that receive time it won't get like just we can see that time so now go back to this studio and update here so <clears throat> i want to update receive time mm, just use in this square brackets or you see I, received and time so what he want to filter so just assume that i want to filter uh, only the data from uh, 17 36 minutes it above uh, 5 so just i will update the filter so 432 or 530 or 532 to 630 i will update this one so let me update here receive time so greater than or equals to 
today's case so i want to uh, get the only today's filters so at that time what i will do now so just um, is equals to let me update this disable time equals to so i want to get a date now so i will take this date time dot today so i want to filter only with this today so today dot to string dot to string so i want to be specific date and time i mean i have the month or dd whatever it may be so i will update the same thing here so now i am taking us here dd hyphen month hyphen and year so this is my format which i am making and i want this specific um, time now so i will make it as 16 a my number log is not enabled okay 16 0000 000. so this is uh, my time so i want to get the data like this so after this plus so enter i will close this one so let me take this dot to string yeah that's fine and next i need this one so i'm using here operators and so because i want to fetch the data between so that's why i'm using this and operator so and again i need the receive time so what is it receive time so here i am taking the receive time less than or equals to so i have the time now plus uh, i will take this date time again date time dot today if you want to tomorrow yesterday's date minus one you can apply that it will work dot um, today dot uh, to string i want this format so just update this format dd mm y and i need the time now so i will take here 15 17 that's fine or else uh, what is the last date i will just check here so 1736 so i make it as 18 that's fine 180000 so this is the my format of the date plus so enter should be in the apostrophe s so like this um, single apostrophe s so let me copy this and i will show here in the immediate window so how that date it's likes So let me run this. So I'm just updating here. So finally, the it should be the date, receive time, and this is the my format. Okay. So let me run this whether it will work or not. So it's thrown the error. So could not process at 27. So maybe uh, this issue is at 27. So here it should not be the capital wise na. So it should be the small wise. So here will support only for the small wise. Mm, let me change this to small wise. So here only M should be the capital M and rest of the things date and year should be the small letters. In some language, it might be the uh, capital letters. So that's why I just can it. That's not a problem. Yeah, let it run this. Okay, still cannot pause this uh, error at this one. So maybe uh, I did some small uh, mistake here. So I want to check here what I did here. So let me expand and I will check this one. I have updated here. So the first one, which is uh, I just we have written, and the second one is the correct format. So which I have written earlier. So I am using the second format. So just only one small apostrophe uh, that is missing here. So just I updated the same thing. Okay, just remove this. Yeah, this is fine so now we'll apply this and we'll run this so now we'll see whether it will work or not so we have to wait until uh, execution of this bot so let me run and i will check uh, is there uh, any out mails output mails or not so this case the mails is not having so it won't display anything so i will show you what the error here again so when you go and check here you can just check this format of this time so i have this uh, what you say you say hours and minutes but in this filters what i given now just go to these properties and expand the filters so i have given this uh, hours minutes and seconds 
when I go and check in my Outlook file, so I don't have this same format. So then I want to remove these seconds in the coding side. So let me remove these seconds and this has been I will remove. So let me run this again. So let me run this. Yeah, it got read and we can see this we got only the one mail. So which we call the test. So rest of the things it's not picked. So because so this has happened 11 39 a.m. and 7 in 36 is the after that. So if you want to fetch only the 11 39 for example. So just I will go to here and I will change this timestamp. So for example, I want to the mail from uh, uh, when it is received. So I want to mail from 11 to 12 in between. So just I will update here as 11 and I will change this as 12. That's it. So now it will pick only the one mail which I got from the 11.39 a.m. So let it uh, run and now we can see this. So our alerts uh, summary default tenant. The same thing we can see here. The first one has not picked. So this is a way how we can fetch the mails from the specific filters or uh, it might be the you want to add this tomorrow date or yesterday's date or previous three to four days you can fetch based on that you can move this on specific folders and we can work as per the, your requirements if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload